interview experience is brought to you by Utkarshni Editor. Today we have Aditi Datta who is working as an engineer in one of the biggest retailers globally for some years. Welcome to the series Aditi first of all. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. So Aditi has agreed to share her learnings and experiences with us. We'll hop on to that. Um, so here goes the first question. How did you prepare for your placement? So I was actually quite ill-prepared in the starter as compared to my peers. But uh, when the time came, I started uh, doing a lot of aptitude from the um, from any aptitude books that you get, uh, general maths, logic and reasoning, all of those. And I knew for a fact that I had to uh, make my basics very strong because that's what most interviewers look for in campus placements. Yeah. So what was your experience through the interviews you took? So I personally went through a lot of interviews. Uh, some of them went very well, some of them not so good. But um, so placements is something that you can lose faith in it very fast if in initially you don't uh, fare so well. But uh, the main thing is you need to keep on going. There's going to be days where you won't get one, but there's going to be a lot of times where you will win a lot. So for me, there were uh, there were times when nothing would go right. But if you keep on going, it'll happen. Yeah, that's a really positive uh, attitude to carry on forward, you know. Um, in terms of coding and theory, which is crucial in your opinion? Like, is it the same for all the roles? No, not really. Uh, there are some uh, there are some companies which would actually stress more on the theory. There are also rounds, right? So coding would be more important in uh, the first round, the screening, and then theory would become a lot more important in the interviews because uh, they'll ask you questions, they'll ask you application questions. They won't tell you to sit in the interview and code. Yeah. So we'll move on to the resume part. Um, do you prepare different uh, resumes for specific job roles or is it a common resume for all? So it uh, really depends on the person. If you are someone who has done a lot of projects in different fields, uh, different subjects, then definitely make sure you highlight those projects uh, and those skills that are important to the job that you're uh, applying to in that particular scenario. And if you don't, then just put on your best stuff on there. Okay. Uh, for someone in the first and second year of their degree, uh, what would you suggest them to move forward with for the procedures? For someone in the first, second year of their degree, what would you suggest they do? So I would say the basic subjects, you should uh, definitely pay attention to them. Uh, by basic, I mean stuff like uh, DBMS, OS, networking. Other than that, just, just enjoy your first two years. OK. Um, is it necessary for a person to know competitive programming, or can regular programming also get them through in the industry? Oh, definitely um, competitive coding is not a necessity. As someone who has not done it and was still able to get, uh, get through these rounds and was able to secure a job, I'll say that uh, normal coding, the coding that you do um, with a little more practice, obviously, that is well enough. Okay. And since you've already spoken about aptitude and English, that you had prepared for it. So what what was your approach towards it? Like, how did you prepare like a process? So I would... Uh, 
a uh, major problem for me was actually time management in these online exams so i would time myself as i would do the practice questions uh the main things that i did practice was quantitative uh, logic and reasoning general math just a refresher course okay and uh, do projects and internships play a critical role during placements oh yeah definitely they show they actually show that you have taken the time and the effort to put into like you know practical uses what you have learned so they definitely do so what would be a few tips from your experience on projects and internships so you can do a lot of projects the thing is doing a good project like take don't make a uh, hundred different things take one make it better use design patterns because uh, interviewers get really impressed when you do yeah so you know make sure it's uh, it can be called uh, somewhere close to an industry standard that's really nice because uh, even even if you do 5 to 10 things and they're not up to the quality mark then it makes yeah so any key insights to prepare for technical rounds that you might have gathered over the years so um, don't think of it as uh, like you know all all these bunches of interviews that you need to go through that will just overwhelm you what you need to see it as just one level at a time so you know just think about that one interview and as for the studying part geeks for geeks has helped me a lot throughout the years uh lead code uh most of the companies uh, use hackerank so make sure you are comfortable with such ides so that you don't you know you don't become uh, tense when you see them in an exam so moving on to the last question we have um, any principal key takeaways for students who are going to sit for placement in the coming few weeks so i know it's a hard time and just be kind to yourself even if it doesn't happen i'll say campus placements is not the only place where you can get a job i for one got a uh, my job at target uh, as an off campus recruiter so make sure you go after those off campus roles they are a little tougher but uh, if you've prepared you can crack it okay that was so great having you over here discussing about your experiences and you know giving a light or guiding through the next people who are going to come in thank you so much thank you for having me Ooh, 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 ooh